Why is executive function called executive function? Why do we have such complex words for this term? Can't we think of something simpler and easier? Why is it this way? Because when we use this term executive function, it sounds so clinical. It's very off-putting for a lot of people. It's It seems very clinical and unapproachable. So why is it called executive function? And what can we do about it? What would I call it? And what would you call it? What's up? My name is Seth Perler. I want to welcome you to 10 days of TIFOS for the 10 days coming up to TIFOS, the executive function online summit for compassionate and proactive parents and any teachers, therapists, and anybody else who's interested in helping kids with the executive function challenges. We are on day four of our 10 days of TIFOS. TIFOS starts August 11th, 2023, we'll be starting with our first batch of experts. So why is it, so today I'm gonna to talk about why it is called executive function. So executive function refers to how the brain, the prefrontal cortex of the brain, the frontal lobe of the brain helps us to execute tasks. And there are all these different executive function skills, which you learned about yesterday, that work together to help us get important things done. So this is extremely important in being successful in school and adulting and being successful in life, having choices and possibilities and opportunities in life. We have to have good executive function, but why is it called executive function? So the brain, this front part of the brain helps us to execute complex tasks. So executive, execute. So an executive in a business helps direct where people execute tasks, what things are executed upon. Okay, so to execute, executive function, how the brain functions to help us execute tasks. So that's why it's called executive function, but it's such a clinical word, it's really hard to wrap your head around. Now, other people or experts or books or things that you might, uh, where they're talking about executive function, they may say that it's the director in the brain they might call it the chief of the brain or the principal, like a principal in the school. It's like a principal who sort of runs everything or an orchestrator. You might hear that metaphor, uh, orchestrating and, and getting everybody to play uh, the instruments at the right time in the right way or the CEO of the brain. So there are all these different ways that people might try to use metaphors to explain the um, what is executive function. I've had a million in my mind and I don't have one favorite, but I picked one favorite, at least for today, that might change tomorrow. But the boss in the brain. So that's what I'm gonna say is how, uh, what I'm gonna call executive function today. Today, for me, it's called the boss in the brain. It's the boss in here that dictates what we're gonna do. It chooses, it prioritizes, it plans, it organizes. It's the boss and the brain. So that's my, what I'm gonna call it today. So my challenge for you today, any parents, teachers, therapists, is what would you call it? And you could leave it in the comments if you're watching this, or um, you can write it down for yourself, but what would you call it? Can you come up with a creative way to call it? You can share it in our Facebook group. I'd love to see what you call executive function. So that is what we have for why it's called executive function. And if you like what we're doing, this is the all access pass. You can check out the all access pass here. And this is our site. If you like what we're doing, please share the summit with other people, the URL right there so that other people can find us. I want to wish you a fantastic day. I will see you tomorrow for day five of 10 days to TIFOS. And then we're starting August 11th. Take care.